What are some things you've noticed that are blatantly sexist but are so normalized? With I've tried numerous times and asked numerous doctors if I could have my tubes tied because I do not want children. My husband and I do not want children. They want to have a meeting with both me and my husband. They tell me I'll probably change my mind, that I'm too young, or that I need to wait until I have at least one child, even though I don't want any. But my husband can make one phone call and set up an appointment just like that. There are some things you've noticed that are blatantly sexist, but are so normalized within men playing video games all day if i were to play video games all day then i'm neglecting my kid but when a man does it it's a good thing that he's home and not out there fucking other bitches so what are some things you've noticed that are blatantly sexist but are so normal when anything happens to a woman be it a crime or an accident they're almost always referred to as a wife and a mother first on a news broadcast. Mother of two dies in a tragic accident. Wife and mother injured in an attack. And that's not to say there's anything wrong with being a wife and a mother. I myself am a wife. But the fact that she is referred to by not her name first, but by her relationship to others is kind of messed up. And there is a difference when men are mentioned. It's almost always local man Dale Smith tragically dies in an accident. And then later on, they might mention that he was a husband and a father. But it's almost never father of two dies in a tragic accident. It's almost always mother. Almost always wife. And the way I see it is that I was Amanda way before I was anyone's wife. I'm not just my husband's wife. I am me first. Okay, so what are some things you've noticed that are blatantly sexist? But our yeah, I got this one. I got this one. Um, so traditionally, when you get married, uh, the woman usually stands on the left side, right? When I was getting married, I found this out, and I was like, I don't like that so much because they're taking pictures of my left side, and I don't really like that profile. So I began looking it up because I was trying to argue that I should not stand on the left side. Come to find out, it's because the man needs his right hand free in case somebody comes and captures the bride. Like men just stealing women. Um kind of weird what are some things you've noticed that are blatantly sexist all right this is the easy one come with me uh bam when i was 16 i opened a bank account and they gave me a folder to put all my statements that's how old i am anyway that i hid my personal info but this is my selective service registration card on my 18th birthday, I got two things in the mail. I got a letter from Gillette telling me happy birthday with a free razor in it. And I got a form from the U.S. government that said, fill this out. And if we need you for military service, we'll call you. But weird, my wife turned 18 five days after me and she didn't get that letter in the mail. And don't get me wrong, in terms of policy, we should probably just abolish selective service altogether. It's kind of old, antiquated. We don't really need it. We have enough people joining the military as is. But... If we're going to have it, why isn't everyone's name on the list? Okay, so what are some things you've noticed that are blatantly sexist? Something that's been bothering me for a while now is when people come up to me and tell me my daughter's really beautiful and that I better watch out for her when she gets older. It's happened quite a few times and in society we normalise saying things like oh you better be careful of her when she's older oh you better watch out for her when she's older like they're actually expecting our daughters to be sexually assaulted when really if you think about it who are they going to get sexually assaulted by? The boys! And nobody in a million years would go up to a boy's parents when the boy was being boisterous and hitting someone Ooh, you better be careful of him when he's older could turn out to be a predator what are some things you've noticed that are blatantly sexist? I just realized something just now, which goes to show you how normalized it was. Why do we say grow a pair or get some balls when referring to a situation where anyone needs to be strong and tough? I'm pretty sure the last time I checked, if you uh, flick a dude's balls, they shrivel up into the fetal position. Okay, so what are some things you've noticed that are blatantly sexist, but are so- The way we expect the girls to be polite versus the way we expect men to be polite. So many of us girls, I'm sure, my myself included, were conditioned to apologize for things like bumping into someone or accidentally knocking over something. We were overly told to be polite. But men were really never ever conditioned to that. And like, even so, we are not used to men apologizing so much that we actually critique the way they apologize. And then just think about the way many of us try to problem solve 
Women want to work out the issue, oftentimes men do not because they're not required to work out the issue. The way we literally are so polite, it's actually a danger to us. Um, one of the most famous known serial killers who killed women, I won't name their name, but I'll put it up there, literally said women are so afraid of being impolite, they will get into a car with a stranger to seem polite, and that is often their downfall. He literally picked women because they were so impolite. What are some things you've noticed that are blatantly sexist, but are so normalized? Christianity. Christianity is super sexist. Women are constantly viewed and treated as second-class citizens. They are supposed to be servants to their husbands and all the men around them. Uh, all of the positive attributes that are given to women in the Bible involve them being submissive and quiet. God, does that sound like anything to you? I don't know. Like a dog or a pet? Jesus. Uh, you know what? L let me just, let's just do this. This is a very common thing I've seen. Just look at this. I've seen so many Christians post this. Christ, husband, wife, children. It's just, it's in, it's in the teachings. You're not as important as men. Plain and simple. There are some things you've noticed that are blatantly sexist, but are so normalized. With Let's talk about the fact that after carrying a baby for nine months, then proceeding to give birth to it, taking a maternity leave from work, and literally spending all your free time cleaning up its shit, the last name of the kid is almost usually the father's. Like, it really just boggles my brain, the amount of privilege men receive in society. You just marry a woman, she takes your last name, then you impregnate her, she destroys her body giving birth to this child, and then you stamp your last name on the child as well. We really need to normalize as a society women passing down their own last names to their kids. I just don't know why in the 21st century we're still going through this. So what are some things you've noticed that are blatantly sexist but are so normalized? The fact that not only is it normalized, but a lot of people think it's cute if a man is incapable of doing the most basic parts of parenting. Oh, my husband can't even be with the kids for two hours without calling me. Ha ha ha. That's nothing, Beth. David won't even touch dirty diapers. Ha. Huh? Oh, well, my husband was supposed to dress our daughter this morning and he sent her to school in dirty pajamas. Isn't that darling? What's funny about only women being expected to, you know, take care of their motherfucking children? Oh, and the fact that if a man sees his children every other weekend, most people would think he's a good father who's trying, and you're a dirty bitch if you put him on child support. But you'd be hard-pressed to find anybody who will say a woman is a good mother if she only saw her children two weekends a month. Okay, so what are some things you've noticed that are blatantly sexist, but are so normalized within society? I'll take the bait and go first. The fact that it's so normalized for women to change their last name after getting married is beyond me like this is the name you got your degree with this is the name that is associated with all your accomplishments yet society just expects you to pack it up and change it the second you get married and the fact that so many men out there expect their significant other to change their last name for them and i understand all the arguments for why you would want to change your last name to be a part of the family and it's easier for the kids and all that bs but the fact that the pressure is solely put on women my last name is a huge part of my identity and i ain't changing it for no one but y'all stay safe out there what are some things you've noticed that are blatantly sexist but are so normalized oh you're almost there it's not just the whole well women are expected to change their last name it is the whole industry my dude and if you don't think the wedding industry is sexist let me provide you with some clear-cut examples and this is from a girl who's only been planning her wedding for about half a year. Not only is there the unspoken expectation that women are supposed to plan their entire wedding with the help of other women in the family, we make jokes about how stressful it is for men just to be in the room while they're doing this. And there's the expectation that you're supposed to enjoy every second of it, like it's the greatest thing ever. It is the most stressful party you will ever plan. The amount of products that exist for women on their wedding day. Oh my god. Everything from things having to do with dresses to a fucking workout planner. I wish I was kidding. Let me know if you want more because they do it to men too. Okay, so what are some things you've noticed that are blatantly sexist?
but are so normal. Just the fact that girls are raised to be wives and told what they can or can't do in their present for what their future husband might like. Oh, you have to keep your purity because your future husband won't like that. Oh, you can't dance that way because your future husband won't like that. You can't wear that because he won't like that. You can't look this way. You can't post those videos. You have to look this type of way. You have to know how to cook and clean as if those aren't human traits that we all need to know how to do as adults to stay alive. But then boys are taught, oh, well, you know, boys will be boys. They're just having fun. You know, boys mature way slower than girls do. So we're just gonna let him have a great time who the hell are y'all raising these wives for and then you know it's normalized and it's seen as such a crazy idea is if you ask a woman what she wants to do when she grows up and if she doesn't mention marriage or children she's looked at as pariah in society but if you ask a man the only thing they expect from him is a career bitch i want a job too